Hello, I'm David Hibbert, and I've got some good news for you. Here's how C.S. Lewis explained the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. He said, how do we evaluate the claims that Jesus made about himself? His greatest claim was that he claimed to be God. There, is, there are really only two logical possibilities about that statement. Either it is true or it's not true. Now, if it's true and he really is God, then we ought to worship him as God. If he is God, then he is the Lord of everything. But if that statement is not true, if Jesus is not God, then we really only have two options. Either he knew that he was not God, or he did not know he, that he was not God. If he, if he claimed to be God, but he was not, and he knew that he was not, then he was a liar. And he has pulled off the greatest scam the world has ever seen. For 2,000 years, billions of people have lived and died for a liar. And Christianity is based on a huge lie. However, if he claimed to be God, but he was not, and he did not know that he was not God, then he was not a liar. He was, he was just crazy. He was a lunatic. If someone thinks that they are smarter than you, they may just be a little bit of arrogant. They may, if they think that they are smart, the smartest person in the whole world, then they can really be deceived. If they think that they are the smartest person to ever have walked the earth, then they may be very delusional. But if they think they are God, they are insane. And so if Jesus really thought that he was God who made the heaven and earth, but he was just an ordinary Jewish carpenter, then he was a lunatic. So logically, there are only three possibilities for Jesus' identity. He either was God, like he said, or he was a liar who scammed the whole world, or he was a lunatic. He was crazy. You know, many people prefer to come up with a fourth option that tries to make Jesus into just a nice and safe person. Some would say that he is just a good teacher. Uh, but a man who is insane, who thinks he's God, does not make a good teacher. Others say that he was just a nice moral man. But that's impossible because a liar who uh, was the greatest scam artist in all of history is definitely not a moral man. So Jesus could, could not have been a nice moral man or a good teacher. He was either a liar who deceived billions of people for centuries, or he was a lunatic, an insane person who should have been locked away, or he is indeed Lord. And he, his offer of forgiveness of sins and eternal life needs to be embraced as soon as possible. And that's your good news for today. God bless you.